Shabbat Shalom. Can you imagine you're watching a football game? Oh, like many people will be doing this Sunday. And you see something interesting going on. The tight end is doing what he wants to do. The quarterback is doing what he wants to do. The running backs are doing what they want to do. Each one not communicating or coordinating. What would the result be? Well, as you can imagine, that is definitely not a winning team. What keeps a team winning? How is it that the winning team usually has something that they're very good at? And that is they communicate. And they realize something very, very important. That they all have the same goal. Every single one of them has the same goal. And that goal is to take the ball and get it to the touchdown. They want to win the game. But in order to do that, they each have to do their part. Each have to do their unique contribution, their unique talent, their unique way. And only then could they win the game. It's fascinating because in this week's Torah portion, God gives us the Torah at Mount Sinai. And one of the things we learn as a Jewish people, and God gave us the Torah and all the mitzvot, God didn't give it to us as a way to control us, as a way to make us slaves to God, so to speak. God gave it to us to have a life of purpose and a life of meaning. And one of the ideas of doing the Torah and the mitzvot is to recognize that we all have the same goal. Our goal is to make this world a good place, a godly place, a place that we could see God revealed. A place that there wouldn't be any strife and struggle. Because the real reason why the strife and struggle, struggle in our world is because everybody's out for their own. But if everyone realizes we have the same goal, we'll all get along. We're not in a competition. We all have our unique thing. What you could do, no one else could do. And what someone else could do, you cannot do. Everyone was put into this world for their job and their purpose. And when God gave us the Torah on Sinai, he empowered us to take our physical world and make this world a godly and good place. Let's stay focused on the goal. So let's learn from the Torah and let's learn from the team. Let's stay focused. Let's bring the ball to the end zone and we will win this game for a life of goodness, blessing, and peace. Shabbat Shalom.